Did you know that Ford, a company with a rich history deeply rooted in traditional combustion engines, has secretly been working on something so radical it could rewrite the entire rulebook of automotive innovation? Ford CEO Jim Farley claimed that a new ammonia engine could make electric vehicles obsolete. That's right, Farley says that ammonia engines are more efficient, cheaper, and cleaner than EVs, and they could revolutionize the transportation industry. In this video, we will look closely at Farley's claims and see if they have any truth. We will also explore the true potential impact of ammonia engines on the EV industry. So stick around till the end and subscribe to the channel before we start dropping bombshells of this exciting news. In a jaw-dropping announcement that might just flip the script on how we power our cars, Jim Farley, the big cheese at Ford, spilled the beans on the company's latest invention, the ammonia engine. By revealing this, he hinted at the company's plans to unleash a brand new engine that could outshine all its predecessors. This engine is anticipated to be an absolute beast in terms of power and its potential to revolutionize the automotive landscape. It's not an exaggeration to say that Ford's newest creation could redefine what an engine can do. Ford has a rich history of producing exceptional engines, earning them a top spot in the market. In 2022, Ford's F-Series trucks continued their dominance as the best-selling trucks in the United States, marking the 46th consecutive year of Ford's industry leadership. One of the key reasons behind this long-standing trust is the remarkable engines that have consistently powered Ford vehicles. And this isn't just about going green. It's about revolutionizing how we think about clean energy and getting from point A to point B. This news isn't just a drop in the bucket. It's a tidal wave rocking the boat in the world of cars and ecotech. So what's all the fuss about? Well, let's break it down. At the heart of this announcement is a little molecule called ammonia. You might know it as the stuff that makes your cleaning products smell all sharp and stinging. But guess what? In this case, ammonia is our superhero, poised to save the day in the battle against carbon emissions. We must admit that ammonia is like a secret sauce for engines. It comprises one part nitrogen and three parts hydrogen and packs a punch for energy. Traditional car engines that slurp gasoline can't hold a candle to ammonia engines. When ammonia gets cozy with oxygen, it sparks a chemical reaction that generates power. And when it burns, ammonia gives off nitrogen and water, leaving no nasty carbon dioxide emissions in its wake. But why is ammonia such a big deal, you ask? Well, it's like this. The world's been buzzing about hydrogen as a clean fuel for a while now. Ammonia can carry that clean energy like a boss with high hydrogen content. One of the primary reasons ammonia is being explored for EVs is its potential to produce zero tailpipe emissions. When an ammonia undergoes combustion in an engine, it primarily emits nitrogen N2 and water vapor H2O with no harmful greenhouse gases or particulate matter released into the atmosphere. It makes it an attractive option for reducing the carbon footprint of transportation. Moreover, ammonia has a high energy density, similar to hydrogen, which means it can store a significant amount of energy in a relatively small volume. This property is crucial for EVs, allowing longer driving ranges and reduced refueling or recharging frequency. But, and this is a big, but some critics have pointed out a sticky issue. Making ammonia usually sucks up loads of energy, mostly from not so green fossil fuels. So if we want ammonia to be the good guy, we've got to make sure it's produced using clean, green energy sources. Now let's talk about Ford for a second. These people aren't just Johnny-come-latelys to the innovation party. They've got a rich history of leading the pack regarding car tech. Remember Henry Ford? Yeah, that guy. He brought us the assembly line, a game changer that made cars affordable for everyday people. And now, Ford is making a bold move with the ammonia engine, showing they're not afraid to tackle challenges others might shy away from. Under Jim Farley's leadership, Ford isn't just looking at what's right in front of them. They're peering over the horizon, ready to embrace solutions that might seem unconventional. It's not just about designing fantastic engines. It's about an all-out commitment to a sustainable future. But here's where things get exciting. The introduction of the ammonia engine isn't just a little blip on the radar. It's more like a meteor strike. The energy world has historically been all about fossil fuels like oil, petroleum, coal, and natural gas. But now, Ammonia is strolling onto the scene, bringing some game-changing severe potential. Countries on a gold mine of renewable energy sources like wind and solar could use that energy to produce green ammonia. It could diversify their energy exports and give them a leg up. 
all while reducing their reliance on old-school fossil fuels. With this, more and more, countries are making promises to cut carbon emissions to net zero. If we can produce ammonia on a large scale in an eco-friendly way, it could become a crucial yet exciting player in the global energy mix. That's not just about cars. It's about trade, politics, and economies. But Ford isn't the only one playing this game. When they drop the ammonia bomb, you could bet your bottom dollar that other car giants were gearing up for a race. It's like a heavyweight showdown in the world of innovation, and everyone wants a piece of the action. It is a race to change how we fuel our vehicles, and it's not for the faint of heart. Here's the plot twist. Not everyone is going to jump on the ammonia bandwagon simultaneously. Some car makers might be in the fast lane, while others are stuck in traffic, trying to catch up. Early birds and pioneers will have a head start, reaping the rewards of being the first to embrace this cutting-edge tech. Meanwhile, the latecomers will be hustling to catch up. But let's not forget about Mother Earth. She's been feeling the heat from all those carbon emissions. Switching to ammonia as a fuel source could be a game-changer in the battle against climate change. But here's the catch. We can't just pat ourselves on the back and call it a day. Ammonia's environmental impact isn't just about how it burns in engines. Nope, it's a bit more complicated than that. We need to think about the entire life cycle of ammonia, from production to use. Ensuring we produce ammonia using renewable energy sources is crucial to keeping our environmental footprint low. And let's not forget the potential downside. If the ammonia escapes into the environment, it can wreak havoc on aquatic life and ecosystems. So we've got to handle it carefully, from the moment it's made until it's used up. Now let's shift our gears a bit, talk about the nitty gritty. How are we going to get people on board with this ammonia revolution? Well, it's not just about building excellent engines. It's about winning hearts and minds. Suppose you are a regular Joe or Jane thinking about buying a car. You got questions, right? You want to know if ammonia-powered vehicles are safe, efficient, and won't break the bank. So Ford and other ammonia game trailblazers will have to roll out some serious PR and marketing campaigns. These campaigns need to shout from the rooftop how ammonia engines are suitable for the planet and practical for everyday life. They'll need to address concerns about finding ammonia refueling stations, safety on the road, and how long these engines will keep chugging along. But the ammonia revolution isn't just about cars but money. Think about all the infrastructure we need for ammonia-based transportation, production plants, distribution network, and refueling stations. That's not just a one-person job, it's a team effort. And guess what? Team effort equals job. It could create employment opportunities across different sectors, which is a win-win. But there's a catch. Some regions relying on old-school fossil fuel jobs might face a bumpy road ahead. Workers in those industries might need retraining to hop on the ammonia train. The good news is that they can transition into roles within the ammonia industry with the proper training and support. Now, here's where it gets even more exciting. Ammonia engines aren't just going to be plain old engines. They're going to be best buds with cutting-edge technologies. Picture this. Ammonia-powered cars that drive themselves, thanks to AI. They'll be so smart they can predict when they need maintenance, making them reliable. And they'll be connected to the world through advanced telematics. Advances in materials science, like supercharged catalysts, could turbocharge ammonia engines making them even more competitive against old-school gasoline engines and other alternative fuels. And let's not forget about the big players in this game. Government. They got skin in the ammonia game too. Policies are shifting toward green technologies as the world grapples with the hit not the fun kind. When a heavyweight like Ford rolls out an ammonia engine, it makes policymakers sit up and take notice. We're talking subsidies, tax breaks, and incentives to get car manufacturers and consumers on board with the ammonia revolution. But, and it's a big but, governments might also slap some rules on ammonia production and distribution to keep things environmentally friendly. Now, this isn't a one-company show. It's an all-out collaboration. Ford might team up with renewable energy giants to ensure ammonia production is as green as possible. They could partner with tech giants to make AI and other tech work seamlessly in ammonia-powered cars, and they might even have coffee with urban planners and governments to figure out how to sprinkle ammonia refueling stations across cities. The story of Ford's ammonia engine, championed by Jim Farley, isn't just about tech, it's about painting a picture of a sustainable future. Success isn't just about building excellent engines, it's about considering the big picture. That means thinking about the tech, the money, the people, and the planet. So, as we rev up for this ammonia adventure, remember, it's not just about what's under the hood, it's about where we're headed. Now, what do you think about this new engine? Will it destroy the entire EV industry? Please, 
Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.